help us in, in, in remarkably logical, but clearly didn't want to die and had clearly embraced the fact that he might. And this was as close as he'd ever been to dying. I mean, we all, apart from Bob, everybody came away from that time with some kind of post-traumatic stress disorder, you know, mm. of one kind or another. Mm. And that's the last thing I remember. Um, uh, I know afterwards that I cartwheeled past him and I know that Bob landed in a very deep snowdrift and post-holed himself up to his chest just about wet snow. And I went straight past him on the end of a 150 feet of rope and into a crevasse and fell, mm. you know, at least 100 feet into a crevasse. Jeez. And I must have bounced off the sides a few times as I went in. Uh, I might have broken the wrist, the collarbone, a big smack on the head. Um, I eventually woke up upside down, um, counterweight with my pack, you know, turned me, inverted me. And uh, I had to get myself the right way up because all blood, you know, you, you can die from, from being in that position. And I managed to right myself out. I tried to use my right hand at first, normally, you know, very powerful fingers and found that I couldn't use it at all because the wrist was completely smashed. <laughs> I managed to do it with my left hand and by using my ice axe just to pivot myself around. I discovered that Jack Roberts was looking for me after 32 years. I thought, my God, he's alive. Because you know, I, I just assumed that he was dead. You know, I couldn't find him and then gave up looking because I didn't want to, to find someone who was no longer with us, you know. And um, I got it wrong. I, I, I found the, the blog where he was looking for me, but about two hours later, I found the rest in peace message. Just killed. <laughs> you know, it's the unbreakable connection between Jack and I. Um, but equally, Bob Candico and I, you know, when you face such travails, such life-threatening situations, and you behave so solidly towards each other, I mean, there's, there's, there's a connection there that, that can never be part.